This is our first video in a new series we're premiering where we take an amusing look back at the sights, sounds, fashion, tech, and products from each year of a 1970s decade. To kick off this series in primo retro style, we'll start off in the year 1970, the dawn of the decade when the flower power 1960s were kicked to the curb and the more is better 1970s came crashing through the door. Those sweet song sounds you might have heard on the car radio that year would have come from the Beatles with Let It Be, or Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water, which was the number one single from 1970 off their number one album of the same name. Sadly, 1970 was the year the Beatles packed it in and called it quits. Fret not though, as the universe taketh it also giveth in the form of Aerosmith, who formed together as a band during that year. As for live music, 1970 saw Britain's Isle of Wight Festival draw over 600,000 fans to see a band lineup that included Jimi Hendrix, Jethro Tull, Chicago, The Doors, and a bunch more over its five-day run. 1970 was also the year that Elvis popped by the White House for an unscheduled visit to meet President Nixon and request a badge that named him as an honorary federal law enforcement officer. The pre-cable world of television had us choosing content to watch from the three networks that dominated the airwaves at the time. In 1970, The Mary Tyler Moore Show debuted to strong ratings that launched its seven-season run on CBS. Over at ABC, the Odd Couple comedy series premiered and gave us a glimpse into the lives of two divorced men roommates who were complete opposites and all the resulting bickering hilarity over the course of five seasons. Also on ABC, we got to witness the debut of the onstage and offstage lives of that pop music family band, The Partridge Family. And on PBS, we saw the beginning of the children's TV programming tsunami, as Sesame Street was introduced to the world in the 1969-1970 season and gave us Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Bert and Ernie, Kermit the Frog, and Oscar the Grouch. Another new TV variety series also debuted in 1970. The Flip Wilson Show. 1970 was not the best year for NASA, though. The Apollo 13 mission intended to land three astronauts on the moon, but instead encountered equipment failure that almost resulted in tragedy were it not for the innovative and quick thinking of NASA engineers and the flight crew that returned the mission to Earth safely. We got to relive the nail-biting event in the movie dramatization decades later starring Tom Hanks. Closer to the ground and way less anxiety provoking was the introduction of Boeing's 747 passenger aircraft into commercial service on January 22nd of 1970 and can fit up to 366 passengers on a single flight. The 747 would remain in production for 54 years with the last model scheduled for completion in 2022. What were the kids playing with in 1970? The most popular toy by sales was the Nerf ball. Hot Wheels also had a very good year in 1970. They launched their Sizzlers and Heavyweights lines along with their new advertising slogan, and go with a winner, thus propelling the toys and the brand to even greater popularity among the tiny toy car enthusiast demographic. In 1970, fashion trends were still influenced by clothing styles seen in the late 1960s. There were loud print patterns for the ladies as well as sensible dresses and even hippie-inspired fashions that were still cool and in vogue. Men's clothing styles hadn't yet embraced the leisure suit, so it was vests, stripes, matching clothes, and you could even find dad or granddad still smoking a pipe. If you were cool though, you would wear these sweaters with a built-in belt. At movie theaters, some of the top-grossing films were love stories starring Ally McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. Also M.A.S.H. with Donald Sutherland and Elliot Gould. Disney's animated film The Aristocats. And Patton, which won an Oscar for the Best Picture. The documentary Woodstock also premiered in 1970 and chronicled the massive music festival and cultural cornerstone happening from the prior year. 1970 could be considered the end of the peak era of muscle cars, where some pretty cool cars with powerful engines were still being produced like the Pontiac GTO, the Dodge Charger, and the Ford Mustang. 
Domestic automakers also gave us the anti-muscle car in the form of the Ford Pinto, AMC Gremlin, and the Chevy Vega, which all debuted in 1970. Some memorable TV commercials that got burned into our brains and kept us entertained and buying stuff were... Ladies, please don't squeeze the Charmin. Mr. Owl, how many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Bar? Let's find out. One, two... <laughs> Nineteen seventy was also the year that gave us the Doonesbury comic strip, Conan the Barbarian in comics, and Marvel's Agatha Harkness character, who would definitely change appearance five decades later and give Wanda Maximoff a formidable adversary in the Disney Plus streaming series, WandaVision. In the technology introduced way before its time department, AT&T tried to make its picture phone a thing and gave us a glimpse into our Zoom meeting future. The product and service were discontinued in 1974 as the technology wasn't as popular with the public as AT&T had hoped. The picture phone was indeed a turkey and suffered from bad timing and perhaps bad luck. But good luck abounded with the introduction of McDonald's Shamrock Shake in 1970. Originally, the green milkshake seasonal treat was lemon-lime flavored, but eventually evolved over the years to the mint flavor we know and love today. During that first year of the newborn decade, the average annual income in the U.S. was $9,400. The average cost of a house was $23,500, and a new car would set you back around $3,500, and the cost of fuel to drive it was around 36 cents a gallon. A lava lamp was $19.95, about the same price as it is today. Well, that's it for this video. In a fun glimpse of the past where we touched on just some of the sights, sounds, fashion, tech, and products that were part of life in the year 1970. This is the first video in our Class Hub series, and be sure to watch out for more videos to be released soon on this channel with the subsequent years profiled. What do you remember from that inaugural year from the 1970s decade? Let us know in the comments below, and please like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel. As always, Thanks for watching.